word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. This is the blacklist. The blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. Hey, Sam. Listen, I want you to know that I've got your back, and we're gonna make the engineers pay. I'm parsing through all the data on their first attack, and I'm gonna learn from everything they did. Every single detail. America, we, we have one demand. demand. Bring your troops home. They call themselves the engineers, and they're using their blacklist to bring a war to America like we've never seen before. And it's not just threats. They're highly motivated, and they can get to anyone. You have seven days until the next attack. With the clock ticking down, the president's assembled the best of the best. Isaac Briggs, CIA Special Operations. It's pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane? No. Look, I'll be honest. He's not gonna make my friend list. But his file says he can hit a lemon from a thousand yards. I believe you know Anna, the Ice Queen, Grimm's daughter. Am I missing something? Focus. So she'll be running ops from above and pretty much driving me crazy with the SMI. Just perfect. Now check this out. Welcome to the strategic mission interface. This baby has news and internet data mining, predictive analytics, photo and video forensics, and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI, all in real time. Best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your ops sat when you're on the ground. Scanning now. She pretty much makes other systems look like tin cans connected by a bit of string. Nobody knows where the engineers are going to strike next. And following the leads we do have will mean running ops anywhere in the world. Obviously, we need to stay mobile. So we have the SMI integrated into the Paladin, letting us stay airborne 24-7, crisscrossing the globe. Please tell me I'm getting air miles. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Now, I'm the last person to tell you how to do your job, but we're way beyond memorizing patrol routes if we want to take on these engineer guys. All of our leads go through a who's who of international bad guys, so you're gonna need to diversify your approach if we want to stay one step ahead. You can always switch up tactics on the fly, but if you want to be a covert purist, there's nothing quite like the silent approach. It's the mark of a great operator. Just make sure you cover your tracks. Sometimes you want to be a little more hands-on. You can always combine stealth with some deadly force when it's called for. But when it's time to be loud and proud, just stay smart. The enemies are trained to focus in on your last known position. Use their aggressive tendencies to your advantage. With the global scale of this operation and so many lives on the line, it looks like Grimm got a blank check to outfit the plane. The Paladin's armory runs the gamut of the latest weapons and gadgets. Lethal, non-lethal, and just plain badass. I've been customizing everything. I've got sonar and footprint tracking working on your goggles, so now we can actually mark and track targets through walls. Kinda makes me feel sorry for them. Kinda. As requested, I've got this totally sweet sleeping gas. Share it amongst the locals and it's a tango siesta. They get all the hangover, but none of the fun. Oh, and I can't wait to show you my newest invention. I'm calling it the Tri-Rotor. Whisper quiet, shoots sticky shockers, and goes places you simply can't. Grim tells me that after each op, we get paid by Uncle Sam. And if we have enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods in your gear. We can also buy new weapons, gadgets, and even upgrades for the Paladin. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Look, you're essentially a one-man army, but some of the ops call for two. And since that gets Briggs off the plane, I'm all for it. Briggs, we got a mission on my way. Having an extra set of hands lets you do things you couldn't do on your own. And it also gives you some backup in tight spots. Well, this is embarrassing. Look, as much as I hate to give big ups to Briggs, with the right coordinated efforts, you guys can take on some huge ops. Protecting and stealing secrets is as old as war itself, and our fight against the engineers has its fair share of espionage. 
We have spies trying to steal information and mercs doing everything they can to protect them. The mercs are heavily armed and incredibly dangerous in open combat. As elite soldiers, they're keen to fire down their sights to keep their intel safe. The spies are agile and aware of their surroundings, but also lightly armed. They'll need to reach into their bag of tricks to make it past the mercs. Operating in teams of two, three, or four, the effectiveness of both sides has a major impact on the war. Both groups can select classes which will let them specialize, making each engagement completely unique. As mercs and spies gain combat experience, they can also rank up and access new gear. Well, that's the extent of my intel for now. And we've only got seven days until the next attack. So how do we play it? Listen up. We keep playing catch up with the engineers. Sooner or later, we're gonna miss. We only have one choice. We hunt them down. Want me to do? Finish the job! Nothing comes before that. Not me, not you, nothing. This is insane. Not for us.